Okay, so I was talking about Jezebel's spirit. <clears throat> okay, so yeah. This particular spirit hates God's prophets. Okay. They are usually individuals who are false prophets. They have false words. They have false dreams. They have false visions. They are wolves and sheep. I'm sorry. There's wolves. They're wolves. <laughs> I couldn't get it out. They are wolves in sheep's clothing. Okay. Um, they have a blocking type of spirit. A mocking spirit. They are like non-human individuals. They are crafty who plot scheme. They are evil idiots. Okay, they're ignorant. They plan their own demise. They are, um, they have no critical thinking. Okay, they are not conscious individuals. And so, like I said, they're wolves in sheep clothing, right? So, um, This is why the Bible says, for we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Right. So that's Ephesians 6 and 12. So the Jezebel spirit attaches itself to, you know, other legions of demons a troll, Lucifer. All of these demonic entities um, and forces we have the power to cast out, right? So, we have the power to cast out devils, to call out its name, okay? This is why you have to know a thing so that you can cast it out. You got to know what spirit you're dealing with so you can call it by its name, right? So, the spirit of lust, Jezebel operates in the spirit of lust because this particular spirit likes to specialize in transmitting lust, sexually transmitted diseases. That's why it operates in fornication and adultery and pornography and all of these, you know, um, different demonic spirits and it transfers spirits. It has tactics and strategies and you know what I'm saying? So... All of this stuff I'm talking about because I've dealt with these things. I've dealt with these spirits. And so I know this is my expertise in spiritual warfare. So I'm